In this video, we will study the operation and failures of the stroke or swash plate position regulation valve in mechanically operated automotive piston compressors. This valve is also known by the acronym POA, Pilot Operated Actuator, whose pilot technology enables precise control of the piston stroke according to system demand. Let's begin by saying that in air conditioning systems without a POA valve, the compressor operated at full capacity whenever the clutch was engaged. While the engine was running and the clutch engaged, the compressor pumped refrigerant at 100% capacity, solely depending on the throttle position. The faster the engine ran, the more refrigerant it pumped, and the greater the cooling effect. The only way to regulate excess cooling was to disengage the clutch, allowing the compressor to stop temporarily. Then, when the temperature inside the vehicle rose enough, the clutch would re-engage, the compressor would start pumping again, and the cycle would repeat. This setup had a major drawback. It forced the compressor to work at full capacity at all times, regardless of the outside temperature, or the comfort needs of the vehicle's occupants. This caused unnecessary fuel consumption and made it difficult to maintain a comfortable interior temperature, leading to excessive cooling or warming. Today, most piston air conditioning compressors and vehicles use variable displacement technology, which mechanically adjusts the piston stroke. This allows the cooling capacity to be adjusted. When the piston stroke decreases, less refrigerant is suctioned and compressed, reducing the system's cooling effect. Thanks to this technology, the compressor adapts to driving conditions and thermal load, resulting in fuel savings, maximum performance on hot days or at idle, and reduced performance when driving on highways or in cooler climates. Like any vehicle component, the control valve can fail, which is relatively common. Some failure symptoms include A. The air conditioning cools inconsistently, sometimes very cold, other times barely cooling or not cooling at all. B. A typical failure when the POA valve is damaged is that the vehicle's air conditioning cools at high speed but not at low speed in traffic. C. The air conditioning takes 10 to 20 minutes to start cooling, but then operates correctly. D. The cooling performance is slow and cannot sufficiently cool on hot days. E. The system's low side pressure is higher than normal and barely decreases, even when accelerating the compressor, while the high side pressure appears normal. The good news is that, in most cases, only the PLA compressor control valve needs to be replaced, not the entire compressor. To do this, the system's refrigerant must be recovered, and the regulation valve which is often accessible externally on the compressor, can be replaced. In some models, it is not necessary to remove the compressor from the system. F. After changing the POA valve, a vacuum should be performed and the refrigerant should be recharged. Remember to avoid letting moisture enter the system by not leaving the equipment exposed to outside air for too long.